Hello guys, Starkit here, and I am back with another Minecraft video for today, and today we are going to be doing a snapshot review, and this snapshot is 14W0, or, yeah, 14W2B, I guess, and they added a bunch of new stuff, which is pretty cool. So, one of the first things is granite, and granite looks pretty cool. I haven't actually played survival with it yet, so I don't know how it spawns or where it spawns or anything. And the next block they added is diorite. Diorite, diorite, I don't know how, how to really pronounce that, but that's like a whitish block, and this is kind of like a brownish, a little brownish, a little grayish kind of. And so these are the blocks that I'm guessing it's kind of like stone and then maybe you get cobblestone or something I don't know how the system really works but and then these are the polished blocks I, I don't know how to obtain those yet but the last one is andesite and andesite is gray as you can see kind of has a little bit of green or maybe a little bit of brown in there too and the next block next block is sweet so if you get nine slime balls and put them like this in a crafting table you get this and what does this do? It's like a trampoline. Pretty awesome. So the first time you land, of course, you're going to jump the highest. And then every time after that, you're just going to keep keep going down. You're not going to jump as high, which is awesome. I'm definitely going to be... Oops. I want that slime. It's called a slime block. That's, that's cool. And um, the next thing is that you can now make mossy stone brick by just taking a stone brick in the crafting table and putting a vine next to it. So that is also pretty awesome. And then along with stone, or with mossy stone brick, you can make chiseled stone brick by putting two half slabs on top of each other. And it's almost nighttime, which let's just do time. Sit. Day. Sorry about that. But the next thing is, ooh, there's an egg. Ooh. Oh, you have an infinite egg since I'm in creative. But the next thing is villager trading. Villager trading has changed a little bit. They now have names. So the blacksmith is the weaponsmith. This is the butcher. The butcher. This is the cleric. And this is the librarian. I don't know if I'm missing any. But um, you can now trade a bunch of new stuff. Like, I'm pretty sure you can trade ender pearls. And that's all that I've really seen. But, oh yeah, also rotten flesh, which rotten flesh with which is pretty awesome indeed what is this so that's actually really good but the next thing the next thing is amazing so we're just gonna need an anvil and lapis let's get a stack of lapis and then let's get some diamond tools out let's get three of that and let's also get three oops three pickaxes there we go. Let's just pick up the fourth one and throw it over there for now. Okay, so with enchanting, you now see this lapis block that, so yeah, you're gonna place the lapis there and you're gonna want to place three in there and then you're gonna want to place your tool or however you wanna do that. But this counts up from one to three lapis. The, the thing right here means one to three. So if you do one, oh, hold on. Slash give XP. Um, I don't know how to do this. Uh, is it slash XP? Not. Okay, yeah. Slash game mode zero. There we go. Let's do that. There we go. 5,000 levels. Okay, so now we can do it. So put the tool in first, and then, of course, you can't do it. And then you have to put some lapis in. So if you put one lapis in, then you can do this enchant. If you put two, you can do this. And then you have to put three to get the level 30. And I think it kind of tells you there, but yeah, we're just going to go ahead and do this. Knockback 2, Smite 2. Okay, so that's a pretty good sword. And also, pay attention to 5361. Just remember 5361. So, this used to take level, this used to take 30 levels to enchant. But if you see, it says under, well, it says 3 enchantment levels. So, 5361, 5358. That took three levels. I mean, it takes three levels to enchant something to level 30 now. And a little bit of lapis. Like, are you kidding me? That's so awesome. Okay, so on breaking three, I'm just gonna get a bunch of pickaxes now, fortune two. 
Okay, so there's a good one. We're gonna keep that down there, and we need um, we need some more pickaxes real quick. Let's get three more. Pick up the lapis. Okay, so now let's do a little bit more of enchanting. Efficiency four. We'll put that down there. Fortune. We'll put that there. And what's this? Okay, another good one. So. We're gonna get these out and God, I keep doing that. And, okay, so let's take this efficiency four and also let's rename it to Ah, bad bad. Okay, so right now that's gonna take one level to rename it. Now let's put let's put this efficiency four in it, and that's gonna make it efficiency five, and that's gonna take twelve levels. Twelve levels. So let's go ahead and do that. And let's also just mine a couple of blocks. Okay, and actually I need to grab diamonds. Let's grab a stack of diamonds. And let's go back into creative. And if you want to repair it, it is only gonna cost two levels, but of course I haven't done too much durability, but and that would still cost like maybe 30 levels, but now it costs two two levels so enchanting has gotten a huge update an update for the better if you play survival definitely but sadly guys that's gonna actually they actually 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 they added a ton of new stuff into command blocks but I do not know what I mean I know what they are but I do not use command blocks and I do not know how to use them really so if you want to learn about those updates go ahead and go to Seth Bling's channel you should probably know who that is and you can watch his video on it because he's a redstone master of course but that's probably gonna end the video here guys covered everything I hope in the snapshot snapshot 14w 2b I hope you enjoyed my name Star Tick, and I am out peace